Okay, right, this morning um, I'm going to attempt to pull the axle out of the back wheel that um, was stuck between the bearings. Um, again, my, my mistake. Um, the mistake I made is, um, see this washer here? About a year ago, when taking the axle out, for the first time I was going to change the free wheel because it was making some noise and I thought when I was undoing it, I'd never done it before and I ac accidentally pulled this one out um, it should have been Loctited in but I don't think it was successfully Loctited in and it came out and uh, I lost this spacer and I didn't realise so when I put it all back together again um, Obviously, there's a two mil space, so whenever I put it together, there was always some play in the back wheel, which I thought was natural, like an idiot I can be. And uh, I drove it for around about a year, and obviously, it, it broke the three wheeler again. So um, now comes the the, sto the long story. Um, I took the axle out a couple of times and. Uh, Put the new free wheel on and when I put the free wheel on then noticed that there was a lot of play in the back wheel and I thought no that can't be right so then started talking to Harry and uh, it turns out that um, I'd lost this spacer I had put this spacer in so I decided to take it back out again to see if I could replace this the, the spacer also I'd ordered a new axle which you can see there and uh, I w attempted to take the axle out and it stuck <laughs> oh, and I spent quite a few hours trying to get it out uh, without success then after talking to Harry he pointed out something to me that I'd missed in the end of there there is a 6mm thread for that eventuality I'd missed that totally I just didn't see it literally. Um, yeah, so as you can see, a six mil bolt will go in that thread. The idea is to pull the axle out if it gets stuck. Um, so basically, I've got some rings to fit over the actual hub, and I can build that up until I've got a couple of rings like that and then I can put that under there and draw it out with a bit of luck. So that's that's exactly what I'm going to try and do this morning. If not, if this doesn't work and it's, it's well wedged in, then I'm going to have to saw it about here, which is between the swinging arm. The swinging arm, lucky enough, it's come out about a quarter of an inch, but it's still not enough to get it out the swinging arm to drop the wheel. So there's enough room for me to get a hacksaw down onto the axle axle and saw it off so I can drop the wheel out then I can sort out putting the new axle in or I, I will put some new bearings in obviously in the wheel itself as well. So um, yeah that's a cautionary tale really of playing around with things that you don't actually understand or can't see. Um, yeah all this problems because of a washer that I missed out. But anyway, we'll uh, we'll see how it goes this morning. See if I can pull that axle out, or if I have to cut it. I've um, taken the suspension off the bottom, so the wheel comes down further, so you can get into the uh, the hole itself, the actual hub hole. Yeah, that was Andy. I just found that plate which will uh, do the job better than the washers, so excellent, that's a success. Okay, we've got it on, got the plate on, got the bolt into the thread, now keep your fingers crossed. Well, I'm pleased to say that it's actually working, um, but I sort of um, realised that the, the nut I was using as it was coming out, as it, uh, as it was coming out from the uh, wheel was coming up against the body so I'm going to have to transfer the longer bolt for a shorter one 
a little one so it brings it out so there's enough clearance for when I want to drop the wheel but the plates working great fantastic well we're nearly there I don't know if you can see the the actual uh, axle sticking out now uh, so it's only literally couple of millimetres to go and this is free of the swinging arm that I can drop the wheel out. Oh yeah fantastic. Uh, yeah because the uh, nut is now parallel with the actual hub I can't pull it out any further with this which I've made flat up against that so I'm gonna have to build it up uh, to pull. It only needs a tiny bit more I think so I actually found that to go behind it so I should put it out the rest of the way with a bit of luck. Wow, got it out at last. But you wouldn't believe it, but uh, the bearing come out <laughs> still attached to the axle. It's absolutely wedged into the bearing. Absolutely amazing. I've never seen that before. But, uh, oh. Anyway, it's out. Ah, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Great stuff. Uh, just put some new bearings in. Uh, the other one, the old ones looked okay, but uh, I thought after all that, you might as well put a new pair of bearings in. Seeing I, seeing I had them, and uh, it was out. Made sense. Excellent. All back in. Oh, and uh, there is no play in there whatsoever. <laughs> Quite amazed. Um, yeah, that was a lesson learnt. Um, so I'll tidy up and uh, give her a test ride now. But that is lovely. That's nice and solid. No problems at all.